This is the energy vibration reading for um the uh, hi for the um uh Librans. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna stop <laughs> for the Librans and Winter Rising sign. Okay, so you Librans, this month is a wonderful month for you Librans because it has the energy vibration of um uh this month has the energy vibration of wonderful positive energies okay and this is the energy of the star this is an, a look month so this is good for you Librans because whatever that is happening whatever that is transpiring um, you are going to be seeing that um, the energies are going to be coming out and there is going to be positive situations that is happening for you Librans okay um, so and this happens to you if you were have been positive you if you have not done something of injustice to someone else and you have been working on a really positive um, positive part in your life then um, you will see this coming out okay so um, this month has five weeks um, the two first weeks is water the third week is an earth week in the general images and um, the fourth week is the energy of the devil and then the last week which is a fire sign and then the last week is uh, um, the um, chariot the chariot is moving and with a general energies that is what is the energy vibration so we're going to be looking at what you guys are going to be working with there's a help that is coming in uh, your own energy vibration is here so if you guys are having legal situation your own energy vibration is here um, for the rest we are seeing um, um, the hermit which um, whatever the situation is and whatever is happening around you you have to look within to find inner wisdom and guidance to move forward okay so let's look and see what is coming out for the first week for you liberals you have the energy of the devil so whatever is transpiring is that for you liberals you have the energy of the devil that is coming out in the first week now the devil with the angman is that um, um, because the general energy is the Agman, which is a water energy, and that has to do um, with the Scorpio or, or the, the Scorpio or Pisces people. But whatever the energy of the devil is, the energy of the devil is here in the first week, and you have the energy of the hangman. So it's as if you have done something, and you're looking within to see um, why have you um, done what you have done, okay? And it has to do with work. Some of you have done something at your work. Um, um, some help is going to be coming in um, the energy of the devil is here but some help is going to be coming in in the second week so help is going to be coming in um, to help you out in the second week the second week is the energy of transformation so it's as if you or someone around you has been doing some um, injustice thing and help is going to be coming in now we have the energy of um, the princess of uh, um, this is someone who is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius this is um, it could be someone from the ages of zero uh, 15 up to 45 15 to 45 okay so be aware of this person it could be that some of you are having a situation with your daughter obviously um, she's coming up in the third week the third week you have to find in a balance and guidance if it's not your daughter is your daughter-in-law or someone of that effect but this person is not really um, positive because temperance this could person could also have Virgo um, Virgo in their Sun moon horizon sign okay um, then huh, you have the Prince of Pentacles and now you have um, the Prince of Cups you have the Prince of Pentacles it can be your daughter or son in the third week and now in the fourth week you have the energy of the Prince of Cups now the Prince of Cups is someone between the ages of 15 and 45 and it is a, a Pisces cancer or a scorpion that you have to deal with these are coming up as kids for most of you or it is your partner but we're going to be going deeper in the reading to see how they're going to be affecting you now we have the energy in the last week the the five to the fifth week because we have fifth week here and we have this last energy and um, it is the seven of the nine of swords okay a lot of worries you guys are going to be having a lot of worries in the last week whatever that is happening and transpiring there is so much worries in the last week 
whatever that is um, transpiring in the last week there is going to be a lot of worries that is coming up um, some of you could be having um, to deal with um, 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 a Pisces cancer or a scorpion child um, there is some situation it could be the kids at home um, in the third week and four weeks there are situations with the kids at home and that you have to spend extra money the energy of the devil is here that is what is starting your month of November the energy of the devil and then what is going to be transpiring is that basically some help is going to be coming in for your child okay so it's as if um, the devil has um, your child and negative um, situation someone something has brought your child in a negative situation and help is going to be coming in for your children okay um, so if it's one child or children um, there is a lot of worries in the last week um, whatever is happening there's a lot of worries in the last week I'm seeing um, some worries happening here so let's go and look deeper in your reader the first week going in the second week um, you have the Prince of Cups uh, the Prince of Cups now the Prince of Cups is um, and um, Pisces cancer or a scorpion this person is between the ages of 15 and 45 and it's as if um, this person is your child or if it's not your child is your partner or your brother but um, there was a negative energy that was holding this person there was really a negative energy or a negative situation that was holding this person and what is transpiring is that uh, um, there's help that is going to be coming for him or her there is help that is going to be coming for him or her okay um, there was is either he was he or she he was in some negative situation in his life some negative people that has hold him to hold him hostage and not literally hostage but uh, negative people who has uh, work negative um, things against him and hold him hostage so that he could not see his way out and um, there is help coming in the second week for this child as we look there is the energy of the six of swords the energy of the six of swords is here and um, it is a situation where um, the you, you have decided to walk away from this child but don't do it okay whatever the situation that is happening do not walk away from him because he needs you he needs you in his life and he needs you to be there for him okay so don't walk away from him don't turn your back away on him because he um, he basically needs you okay so we're moving forward we're looking at the princess of Pentacles and the Prince of Cups now some of you this could be your kids or this could be um, your kids partners that you're dealing with um, the energy of the hermit is here so what this is saying is that the universal angels and guides are saying basically um, look at this situation um, the princess of Pentacles and the Prince of Cups okay um, these two people there is a situation that is going on so think about who is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn between the ages of 55 and 45 and who is this Prince of Cups um, between the ages the same age group so these two people one is um, one is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn and the other one is uh, um, the other one is a Pisces Cancer or a scorpion these two people or princesses these are two women um, together one is earth sign and, and the other one is cups um, listen to your intuition about these two people whoever they are listen to your intuition about these two people because obviously um, there is something that is going on between them as we move forward and we look at the um, the princess of wands the princess of wands comes up so you liberals are basically dealing with a lot of young people and you people who are dealing with all of these signs because this is people who are dealing with their kids this is um, the situation of people who are dealing with their kids because here in the last week some of you who are in a relationship with a prince with with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion you might be leaving this relationship 
for the princess of wands okay and the princess of wands um, this person is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius um, she's either creating chaos because she knows of this princess of cups so you could believe in this person for this princess of cups and she is aware of um, the Pisces cancer or scorpion and she's she's really going to be creating some some um, worries and karmatic situation um, is going to be coming up it's, it's a clearing but this is serious so you guys better brace yourself for this month okay it's five weeks and there's a lot of serious thing the second week you're going to be getting help the help is coming in from the Prince of Cups that is a Pisces cancer a scorpion between the ages of 25 and 45 and um, you know he might be thinking of leaving okay now it could be a situation that he has gotten himself in some legalities um, but he's gonna be help okay it's as if he has gotten himself in some um, legalities because um, the lawyer and, and this could be you ladies over the age of 40 and this is your child you ladies over the 40 if you have a child that is a, um, a Pisces cancer or a scorpion um, he's he's not in the best of companies someone is old in him um, someone is holding him someone is really holding him um, it's like they have him in bondage and you need to release your child some of the, some of you could um, realize that your your son is having a legal situation no matter what it is and I'm going to tell you guys this um, you know no matter what is what has transpired and what he has done and whatever forgiveness is the key unconditional love you have given life to this child and you have to protect him it doesn't matter how old this child is so if you realize that your your son is is caught up in a legal situation help him out because you have the powers to help him out okay help him out because you have the powers to help him out and the thing about it is that they want to throw him under the bus but um, you know yeah the, it, it is true um, they want to throw him under the bus but you know the truth of the situation so stand up and help him however way pray and ask the universe that he comes to you and let you know what is happening so that you can help him because they want to throw him underneath the bus because here is um, a legal situation that they want to throw him under the bus but um, it's not going to happen um, stand up for your child uh, whoever you are um, and it doesn't matter what your child might have done and um, to be honest what they're saying that he has done is that he didn't do it they did it whatever that has transpired they did it and now they're trying to throw him under the bus but the legal system is aware of what happened they are saying that he is the one who gave the thing here but yes they have him captured um, it's as if there's a person out there that um, your son has become in a legal situation and it's because that um, he must have get involved with some people that had money for him and uh, or he has money for them and they they stole something from the parents and now they're trying to throw him under the bus but the legal the authorities know exactly what is happening the authorities know exactly what is happening do not give up on your child fight for injustice and equality for yourself and your child this is totally ridiculous okay what what is this two four six eight the eight of ones messages are going to be coming to you um, someone is going to be sending you some text messages okay and please whoever it is out there that your son has gotten himself in some legal um you know pray that your son comes to you and stand up for your son do not leave because he thinks you no longer love him but you are aware of the situation and you do not want to get involved until he says hey mom 
this and this and this and this happen and you stand up for your child because you bring your child into this world and these negative nasty ass people wants to um, do uh, injustice towards you and your child because of money they're sick okay so um, help is going to be coming in because it's as if the legal system uh, it's as if um, you realize that something wasn't right with your child and you basically call up and let the police know that something isn't right and here um, they're trying to throw him under the bus because the police already know so he's gonna receive some help because they know exactly what is happening that they use him so don't give up on your child some of you if you're involved with a uh, Taurus Virgo or Capricorn you're going to um, she is going to decide to leave okay there is going to um, come a separation between you and a um, Pisces cancer or no um, between you and a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn um, you or you are going or she is going to be going for a divorce or a separation okay and that's happening in um, the third week she's gonna be saying you know I want to end this relationship as we look at the third week going in the fourth week you have to go within and look at the situation about your child do not let your child um, go um, you know let your child love you uh, let them know that you love because you know the, the love between a mother and a child no matter what a child do the mother loves that child because she knows the pain that she used to bring him in this world and she's not gonna let him fall so um, don't let your child fall whatever it is no matter how um, uh, you know disgusting he is okay some of you or looking um, at a situation with your kids whatever is happening with your kids um, this is very serious whatever is happening with your kids you're thinking about a um, situation that is happening with your kids um, some of you are seeing the truth about a situation about your daughter your daughters um, some of you are very worried about your kids um, if your kids are between the ages of 0 to 45 you're very worried about your kids there is something that is going on here now um, some of you are going to be receiving message um, some of you have been thinking about your daughter that is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn and you're going to be receiving some messages from her um, these messages we're going to be seeing what these messages are all about but you're going to be receiving it's as if you have been thinking about this person all of a sudden this person is going to start texting you okay we have the energy of the princess of cups um, some of you in the Fourth week, you are going to be dealing with a situation that you're thinking about this person, um, and you're going to be seeing the truth about this person. Now, it is someone who is a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion. You're going to be seeing the truth about this person, whoever this person is. In the last week, we have the energy of the Princess of Wands. Some of you are in relationship with this person, and she is causing a lot of chaos. Um, she's like she's stalking you there's a stalking going from this lady it's as if this lady is stalking you so be aware of this let's see what's coming out in the second week going in the third week um, some of you are going to be deciding to leave a situation behind and as you leave the situation behind it's a legal uh, situation and the truth is going to come out and you're seeing the truth of the situation and it has to do with um, your materialistic um, world okay so it's as if um, some people haven't been having jobs and that